All right, guys, today is near the end of the day, and it's one of those days, and we ordered some plants and uh, plants that we're going to have to grow out. Super excited about these, but we've been waiting for several days for the UPS truck to deliver these. Now, if you've ever ordered anything, and I'm sure you have, that you were waiting on with a lot of anticipation and you're, you keep watching your tracking and seeing when it's coming, when we saw out for delivery this morning, we were really excited waiting to see these come this afternoon. And this is a box of hostas. I've got another box over here of a different variety, and I'll show you that in a minute. But we've been waiting on these, and hostas are one of the primary plants that I deal with in my nursery. They're just, they're, they are a can't miss perennial plant, easy to grow, easy to propagate. You hardly ever lose any of them in pots over winter. And this particular box, I can't even believe, can't even believe I'm about to say this, but I paid $1,000 for this one box of hostas. And I know that that sounds crazy. And for me, that kind of is crazy being a backyard grower with not a ton of plants and couldn't be less of a big deal, but... I did something outside of what I normally do, and I want to show you these in this video and talk to you a little bit more in a minute about why I did this. So just to show you a little bit about what we're doing today, uh, we got two new boxes of hostas in, and uh, just to show you, we've been working on potting these. We're potting these in, in these little small three-inch pots because most of these are not going to be ready to sell this season. We bought much smaller hostas, smaller size hostas, so you can get them cheaper per plant that way, even though they will require an extra growing season, that's fine. No, no problem for us. We, we enjoy the growing process as much as anything. But this first variety I wanna show you before I get to that really expensive box is the Francis William hosta. Now come here and take a look at this. And any hostas that you order bare root are gonna look something like this. Now I realize that's not much to look at. And that's just, a, there's the crown of the hosta right there and just the roots. That's why it's called bare root because that's how they come in the, come packaged just like that but this is a, a pretty small one and you know if you buy bigger sizes it may be twice this size it may fill up both of my hands or something like that when you buy them bigger like that they're going to be ready to sell more immediately but you're going to pay quite a bit more for them so just to show you we take these and we pot them up in these little pots like this and we're just let them grow for a season. If mid-season they outgrow their pots, we'll either divide them or pot them up or whatever it is. I'm just kind of show you what we're doing. Francis William is the name of this one, super common hosta, and that's what we're getting started with today. So I wanna talk about hostas for just a second and why they are such a great plant to have in your nursery. Uh, people really buy hostas because they're a spectacular foliage. Now, as I'm talking here, I'm gonna show you a few pictures of, of some that we have had in our nursery, either now or in the past. Uh, just to give you an idea of what we normally do with these. I don't normally splurge and spend a ton of money on one variety of plant. So I want to show you what we normally do. We normally go with these really common varieties of hosta like um, Royal Standards, August Moon is a common variety, Earth Angel is a common variety, and you have the very basic hostas that the, the undulatas and the marginatas that have the single stripes on the edges, some offshoots of those are, are plants like Francie. Uh, there's one that, this will make more sense to you as we go on in, in just a minute, but there's, there's a blue hosta called the Halcyon. And so many of the cultivars today, there's literally thousands of varieties of hostas. I don't know how you could ever learn them all, but all these varieties of hostas today, they kind of come from a few of the basic plants. And those are what we normally deal with in our nursery. They're super easy to get. They're really cheap to get. You can find them at virtually any garden center you go to is gonna carry all those common varieties. And that's what I've normally done. It's what normally I do. It's what most of what the plants are that I have. And another great thing about them is that they're really easy to divide or multiply as the case may be. I guess when you divide a hosta, you multiply it in number however that works. But anyway, those are some of the reasons and some of the, the some of my thoughts on why we do what we do with hostas. You heart, they never die in the winter. So just to kind of give you a little bit of a background on why I'm so obsessed with them, like it makes you feel like you're a good grower and you know what you're doing when you deal with hostas because they sell really well, they always look nice, and you don't kill a whole lot of them. So kind of hard to beat all of that. All right, guys, so back to this box that I was wanting to show you guys. And honestly, spending a thousand dollars on a single box of plants is not something that I ever really, really even think about doing in my nursery. But for at least two years now, I've basically had the same plants in my nursery year after year after year. 
and I'm propagating off those plants, making more, uh, more plants from those plants all the time, trying to buy in fewer and fewer things. And I wanted to just get something that was very different looking in color. There's all these varieties of hosta out there and I've had a lot of them and I love them all. So I wanted to try something really, really different this year. One of the varieties that I mentioned a minute ago uh, is the Halcyon hosta. It's kind of a blue hosta that's kind of a mid-sized variety, really common. One of those that you can find in any garden center, anywhere, all your box stores are gonna carry Halcyon hostas at some point during the season. What I have gotten in this box today is, uh, it is a, I guess it's a sport or variety, whatever you wanna call it, of the Halcyon, and it is called Sunny Halcyon. Now, I've just learned about this hosta recently, I mean, in the last year, and I've never been able to find them anywhere. I've looked and looked for them. I only found them in one place, and I bought these from DeVruman, uh, the same place I bought my hostas from last year. And all these are in this box, and we haven't even done anything but cut the tape, but all they are is bare root hostas. They're not pretty. They're not anything really to show you. But this is a box of 250 hostas, and this is just a typical size that they come in. You can get them in a 400 size if you buy even smaller ones. But there's 250 of these in this box. And on these more common varieties, like some of the ones that I named just a minute ago, you're going to pay like 92 cents each for them. Some of them you're going to pay $1.36 for. Some of them you're going to pay $1.88 for. The, the prices vary like with anything you buy. Plants are no different. Wholesale plants are no different. But on these sunny Halcyon hostas, I paid $3.92 each for these. So you do the math, $3.92 times 250 is around $980 plus shipping and you are over the $1,000 mark for one 20, 25 pound box of plants. Now, the reason that I decided to do this is because I think that these are a gorgeous look. I'll never have to buy these again because we'll, we'll keep most of these and just multiply them this year and next year. But the reason I did it is, first of all, just because I like them and I think they're really pretty and I think they'll be fun to grow and kind of watch what they do, but they will be kind of a big splash attractor kind of plant. And when I'm able to post pictures of these plants on my sale ads, when I'm having plant sales, I think it's the kind of plant that people are gonna say, I want to go get that. I've never seen that before. And just to have something really unique to offer. Now, if I took all of these and potted them up this year and sold all 250 of them this year at my sales price of $6 each, well, I guess I could make a little bit of money on them. I could probably make $2 on average, $1.50 or something on average per plant. And yeah, there's a little bit to be made there, but I'm not doing that. I'm treating this much more like an investment where I'm just going to take these and just grow them out this year and really have a lot of them in the years ahead so I don't have to pay that much for these plants ever again. So we're gonna open the box and I'm gonna show you what these look like bare root. They look just like, I'm sure, like the William Francis variety, a generic variety of bare root hosta and a really nice variety of bare root hosta. They look the same, they just look like a root. So, ah, uh, yes, <laughs> exactly the same look. Uh, not that I expected these were gonna be golden. No, that's not really what they are. So there you go. It's just a, um, it's just another, another hosta. So we'll pot all these up and watch them grow. And really nothing spectacular about the look of that right now, but I can't wait to show you these in the weeks and months ahead as they grow. And hopefully they turn as bright yellow and as bright golden color sunny as I think they will. So one of the coolest things about plants and growing them in your backyard, like there's no pressure back here to have to sell a ton of stuff every year and all of that is you can treat these plants as an investment, which is what I'm doing with these sunny housey and hostas. And I'm just always thinking a year or two, three years down the road, just long term about what you're growing. Like, yes, this spring, this summer always matters, but you always got to have an eye on next spring or by the time fall comes around, you're not going to have anything to sell next year. So you've always got to be looking down the road. And with a plant like hostas or any plant that you can propagate, you always have to save some plants to keep for yourself. You don't sell out of everything you have all the time, or it's going to constantly be costing you more to get new plants. So making your own plants is the way this thing works the absolute best. It's also the way that it's the most fun because there's just something really satisfying 
about growing your own plants and because people say did you make these as if you know you just created them from nothing but um, just a really cool part of backyard growing and having a nursery in your in your backyard is is your hands on all of it kind of watching what you can make happen so wanted to share that with you guys today so guys thank y'all for watching my video about my one thousand dollar box of plants it's a real thing appreciate y'all being here today i love y'all and i'll see you on the next one